Today we got The Devil Wears Prada, Woo. Broken. It's a newer song, we're super excited guys. This is part of my reaction. All right, here we go, man. Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, I hello. am Chris. I'm this Dave. is Dave. I'm Dave. Mm. And this is Devil Wears Prada Broken. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to this because I've heard some good shit from them in the past. Dude, I was a huge fan. And uh, yeah, I assume back to heavy. We've done a, a few slower stuff here yeah. recently. So, uh, I mean, they're I, historically a heavy band. Yeah, you know what I mean, and uh, fantastic. And, and honestly, like I, I say I was a fan. There was there's a period stretch there where I, I kind of stopped listening, mm. uh, for whatever reason it was. But I, I will tell you, without doubt, they were one of the more entertaining live bands I saw, especially on the Warp Tour era. No, oh, yeah. When we went, they always entertained us. They were so freaking tight, and so heavy. And I actually have like live videos on my phone still somewhere of them, and, and just. It, it, there, there was an aura about them, and they were just killing it. Their Zombies EP was fantastic. Um, so I'm excited to see where they're at now. Because there too. was a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a hiatus, but it seems like they were kind of... Fell off the radar a little bit. A little bit for a yeah. while. And kind of changed up I mean, the style. Obviously, they have their, their core group of people that listen to them. So they all yeah. still have... They're still a huge band. But, I mean, they, they haven't broke into a, a spotlight in a while i feel like well this is from three months ago so we're a little behind but we actually noticed this as one of the top metal albums of the year yeah. it got voted by i don't remember which magazine but it got voted as one of the top metal ones and we it's haven't revolver, heard revolver i think revolver yes yeah. uh so they got seven hundred fifty-four thousand views as of right now on this on youtube so this thing is banging dude yeah and uh, i'm excited it's called broken let's get this going man oh so this i can't know their names the screamer actually has a guitar right now which is interesting. I hate when I get left alone. I already love that. <laughs> I'm sure that vocal all effect these on calls there. Are no, just the. A short drive. It's such a good screen. From the back of the car, it's sinking in like a shot of fear. Ooh, interesting. And adrenaline. A mud lost cause with nothing left. Can you say that? Okay, wow, so this is that. That part was very catchy, actually. It's very, very catchy, and they and they have had very, very catchy shit in different realms of catchy. Yeah. They've had catchy shit, and obviously they're going to be getting heavier right now right before i stopped it so uh, heavier but so far uh i like the vocal effect he had on the very it on the main vocals that mm -hmm. sounded pretty cool yep and then the bass was coming in it was a dun, 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 that dun, wasn't dun. the bass that wasn't the bass that was actually that was synth i was watching the well i mean i was watching the bass guitarist uh and he was not moving so well granted it's a video it's not a, like a live yeah, thing i i i actually think that was a synth based uh like okay a, like a boom 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 boom, boom yeah boom, maybe boom. yeah um but they made it sound like a bass guitar, which is which is rad. But it, it, regardless, it kind of gave you a little bit of a, a small drive yeah, in that first bit. part. Yeah, kind of a build up. It makes yeah. you start moving your head a little bit more. Yeah. So obviously, great clean vocals so far, which is a given with these the guys. The guy screams awesome. The guys, uh, yeah. And then I, when I, they they went into like a harmony together with the with the screaming and the singing, yeah. singing that was pretty sick. I wish I knew all their names. I, I should know their names just because I've you know in the past I listened. I used to I think knew knew their names, but. I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. These guys are rad. Yeah. Uh, and this is very different uh, so far for yeah, me for as me far as my history with them. So this is this is very cool to me. All right. That screaming and singing sounds sick. Yeah. Ooh. That was cool, man. Very That's clean, cool. very catchy. I, know I've got my I like that though. My hands are broken, or my hands are. What do you say there? My hands are something from these broken bottles. My mm. hands are. And then he says, "I got my problem." So obviously, we're talking about probably like personal, yeah, probably. you know, uh, depression or or. And th these guys are a Christian band, by the way. I mean, I think most people know that at this point. 
Uh, so usually they have some very interesting and well-written lyrics. Yeah. Uh, a lot more kind of anthem than I was expecting. Very I, I was, ex- And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, nope. I love anthems, and I think a lot of people do. Uh, very almost like a mainstream feel. It does. And I've actually referenced this in some of the past reaction videos where like when you get to a point where you've been out for 10 years, 12 years uh, making music, like you want to build your catalog. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't like it when a band changes up something drastically. Mm -hmm. But you have to look at the bigger picture. Like during a live show, you're not playing that entire album. You're playing a couple of songs from the album. You're sprinkling it in with your previous collection, your catalog. And it does change the feel of a live show and gives you this kind of piece that you end up loving it during a live show because it just changes up the pace. Yeah. So you may not love the album as a whole. I'm not saying I haven't heard their album. I, I'm sure it's great. But I'm saying when you have an artist who changes it up and you're like, oh, I'm not really feeling this new version, just wait till you see them live and watch how it's sprinkled other in. There's things in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bigger picture, man. So I, I this would fit in their set perfectly, and I love it, man. Solid drumming, by the way. I know I've got my problems. I respect how he's keeping it clean, dude. Yeah. yeah. chorus coming in is is so perfect for yeah. the way they did the chorus like it the the melody they used for the vocals is perfect and it built it builds up at the same time and it, then that the chorus comes in and it makes it so much bigger yeah and uh you know call me out of the loop on this a little bit because I, like i said previously I, I haven't really followed them as much the past couple of years I, I like at least in this song that they have their what was traditionally their their chorus like the, the guitar player sings mm-hmm. uh, he would do the choruses and stuff and do a lot of the back you know vocals um, it's kind of reversed on this one where now the the singer the the main front man I I wish I had this more prepared as far as names but he normally was the front man mm-hmm. and now he's playing guitar and he's actually kind of backing the singer's part uh, which is very cool and on top of that. You got your keyboard player who's also and your bassist vocals, who's yeah. doing backing vocals. So you have this really nice array of, of vocals going on. Yeah. And they all sound spectacular. You know, I'm sure that they're all moderately good singers. Well, yeah, they have and to it, be. And that makes it all, honestly, maybe even easier. Could, uh, you have a different sound that's also big, and you don't have to do so much overlaying of vocals. Yeah. You don't have to double things up so much to make it have that big sound. And then you have, like you said, the different tones and voices make it an even different sound at that. And it actually, it works out great. Yeah, so the lead vocal is Mike Heranica. I think that's how you pronounce it. But he's the screamer. Jeremy DePoister is the guitar player singer. Uh, and, and listen, like I like the reverse role here. Yeah, um, and I, I don't like know if this is something they're doing up. more, maybe? Like maybe they're doing a little more um, cleans? Maybe. But. I mean, there's another band I really like called Four Year Strong where the, the two main guys are both – guitars and vocals and they go back and back forth in their songs constantly and it, yeah. it works so well and i i love that they're doing it here too absolutely man uh let's keep going man we're getting to that bridge part i think yeah. so Ooh. I know I've got 
Very big. You know, understanding that, like, I, I haven't been in the loop for uh, many, many moons uh, with these guys, um, just taking it from that perspective, uh, I really appreciate the direction that they're going with it. Um, and I'm sure, I, I would almost guarantee that there's extremely heavy songs on their album. Oh, yeah. Uh, and where um, Mike, the, the screamer, is actually far more involved. That's a given, I would think. Uh, but I really, there were some small details in there I thought were, were incredible. That bridge section. Uh, the keyboardist comes in. He has this really nice tone that he's uh, that he's producing, and he's harmonizing. The keyboardist was actually harmonizing to his own tone uh, with the back tracks, which I thought was really, really pretty. Actually, I mean, it was yeah. very, very pretty, um, very powerful. Yep. I mean, really powerful song. And and listen, if you're trying to break out from the uh, stereotype of just being like a heavy band, and you're kind of trying to follow models of you know i guess asking alexandria or bring me the horizon where you're starting to produce more more stuff that i guess the genre is opened up a little bit more more yeah. people are going to listen like what a perfect song to do what that a perfect song to do that yeah because to me this wasn't you know bring me the horizon i love those guys but there's a part where i'm just like yeah, it's a little gimmicky now uh it's a little bit like over the top and this was just just so straightforward yeah i, I love i love the the format they use how they laid the song out honestly yeah. i like that they were produced this really good easy listening song yeah and then when it came to the bridge they didn't try to go heavy with it yeah they didn't i like that they didn't go heavy in the bridge yeah i like they did just they emphasized the rest of the song and made it very uh, like a almost a beautiful big sound yeah and and then brought it back to just the the vocals that i liked right off the bat Absolutely, man. I, I couldn't agree more. It was it was from from first to last was was uh, as clean as you can get and perfect tone all the way across the board. Everybody yeah. did their part. Everybody was perfect. There's nothing that hit my ear that was like ah, that's not that's that sounds off. Nothing like that. So that just shows that these guys know what the hell they're doing. First of all, Deborah's yeah. product. I've always considered a highly talented band. And always puts on a great show, and I would love to see that one live. That one live would be, would oh, be hell awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So that's Devil Wears Prada, Broken. Hell yeah. Pretty new song. Uh, I, I have a feeling we're going to do more from these guys and their new shit because that, that was that – was, uh, Yeah, I want to yeah. see what the rest of the album Absolutely, man. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. If you guys have not uh, yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Uh, we're a newer channel. We're trying to get to that 1,000. We're real close. So yeah. if you guys can bump us up to that 1,000. And then we can start working on 2000. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe, get your notifications. We do this every single day, Monday through Friday. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening.